Hello everyone, welcome to another Roblox tutorial. Last uh, video, I showed you how to install lights into your vehicle. Today, we are going to show you how to add a currency into your Roblox game. So if you guys want another video on how to install to where when you drive around you get your money, I will be coming out here soon. First, let's get started. So you want to insert a script into server script service. So go ahead and do that. Rename the script to cache script, just like that. Now you want to highlight the print hello world and delete that. Now follow my steps, local data store service equals game get service data store service. There you go. So we have local data store service equals game get service data store service. Go down the line, do local player cache equals data store service get uh, get data store. Oh, get data store. There you go. I can spell it right player cache so what we have here is local player cache equals data store service e uh, get data store player cache skip a line function on player added player local stats equals instance dot new folder player now what you guys want to do here you see this right here you want to move that over so you could just get rid of that and put it at least right here and there you go but get rid of uh, um, no capitalized P in the player so what we have right here is local stats equals instant dot new folder player this is gonna make it so the player can react to the the money so when the money starts generating it'll know that on your leaderboard on the right here it will start generating next stats dot name equals leader stats local cash equals instant instance dot new number value status next you want to do cash dot name oh, cash dot name equals e money sign so we're gonna do that now line cash dot value equals zero local data local success er, error equals p call function there you go data equal yeah equal oh, I keep okay there you go play player cash get and yeah I don't know what that word is player dot user ID but make sure you don't capitalize that D like I just did and so we're gonna end there we're gonna go to this line instead now if success then print data uh, loaded there you go if data then cash dot value equal data and there I do back one else 
Um, now what you guys want to do is print. Actually, we're going to do a tab. Actually, no, do not do a tab. Just follow my steps. That was a mistake. So now what we're going to do is this. Print. Uh, that. There was an error while getting data of player. Dot dot. Uh, make sure you guys do that as well. Player dot name. There you go. Warn error. There you go. So we're gonna end there. What we're gonna do now, down here on this one, we're gonna do while true do wait. So this right here will make uh, the player wait two seconds. Um, also up here, cache.name, this is going to be what the cache uh, name is. Cache.value is going to is gonna be how much um, money you're going to start with. Um, so yes, that's that. Let's go back to this line. I'm going to do cache.value equals cash dot value plus two so right here cash dot value equals cash dot value this is how much um, we will be generating this is how much money will be generated every two seconds so this will be go up two four six eight ten and go online we're gonna that. Ooh, I don't even know what I'm talking about sometimes. So we're gonna skip a line here. We're gonna go down to 29. Make sure you guys put these two together. So we'll do that. We're gonna skip this line. Function on player. Oh, player removing. Player. Um, now, what you guys want to do is local success equals p call function. God, I can't get rid of that. Player cache set. I don't even know what this word is. God, I can't spell. Now what we're gonna do is player dot user ID player dot leader stats equal find first child do the dollar sign like we did uh, with the line up there. Ooh, I just went on that. We're gonna do dot value. Next line is going to be end. There we go. If su success, then print data saved. Oh, yeah, right here, you guys. This is where the data will be saved. So when a player leaves the game and they join back, their data will be saved. So, however much money they had, their data will be saved. Else, print uh, there what was an error while saving data of player. We're gonna space dot dot player dot name. So we're almost done, guys. Now we're gonna do warn. So that's done. I'm gonna skip that. Let's skip line forty. Go down game dot players. 
that player added connect on player added game dot players dot player removing connect on player removing there we go uh, what you guys want to do now since we are done with our script next what you guys want to do is go through the script make sure there's no uh, red underline so right here you have a line here so as you guys see you want to put this here boom that is gonna fix it make sure you guys go through the script Let's make sure everything looks good everything looks good we're gonna close out of the script we're gonna go to game settings basic info automatic cache I'm gonna save go to file right here actually no you don't have to go to file go to game settings right here All right go to options and do enable studio access to API services do on and save now we can test the game out to see if it works Let's try it out. And there you go, you guys. You have your own cache right there. It's going to work. It's amazing. Let's, uh, I also want to do another example. Go to get, go to cache script. So right here, as I said, cache.value equals cache.value plus 2. You can change that to whatever you want. So if I wanted to put 10, right? Go close that script. Go back into the game. Now you'll be getting ten dollars instead. But there you go, you guys. If you guys did enjoy today, I will like you guys to subscribe. Comment what you liked about the video, what helped you so much about this video, and what do you guys want to see in the next video. And uh, yeah, I guess just like as well. So peace out, y'all.